All right, today I'm going to show you my collection. Here's an overview of my collection. I keep everything open so I can see every collection. Back here, I keep full runs of full boxes. Once they're full, I place them over here. They're no longer active. So I'm not going to be placing anything new in there. On the wall here, I've collected a bunch of facsimiles so that I don't have to bring the real one out on display. I also keep runs of different variances that I like and appreciate and want to see them on a daily basis. And I like to be as complete as possible when purchasing my variants. As you can see, these are timeless variances and 70th anniversary variances. Also here are other variances that I keep. They're complete in them. I have such things as the lenticular variances that flip-flop from yesterday to today. These are my heroic age variances. These are my vampire variances. Again, they're all complete. In order to do so, I had to purchase these on eBay. Hard to get them all at the comic book store. These are the Deadpool secret comic book variances. Missing a few on those. The most current of variances I'm trying to get is the window shades variances. These are what are being released at the moment. But let's get into how I store my comic books. I keep them all in alphabetical order. Down here that is where I start. Got some 25 year anniversary covers on the back down below. Again, these are my current issues. Amazing Spider-Man. I have a full run of the 2015. And then the next series of Amazing Spider-Mans again. And it's all complete. I buy them brand new. Every week I go and pick them up. I read them all. And as I read them, Place them in a mylite plastic, the backboard at the center. I will put the number of the book in the top corner, and after reading them, I grade them and place that on the back of the back of the board. And that will remain open until I read the next book, then this one will go forward, and then I'll file the following issue. All these other books are not active at the moment. Again, here's Avengers. That is the annual last issue. That's number four. And I read number five. It will be placed in front of there. Again, all in alphabetical order, according to Overstreet Comic Book Guide. A couple of that I appreciate and like to see on a regular basis I will display again all in alphabetical order got nothing active in this box but they are all current 25 year anniversary books place them all along the back bottom here it's all lit up underneath you can see again 
following through my collection blade. This is a clipping from the comic book purchasing books, whatever you want to call these things, the Marvel previews. And I get a full page ad. I will clip it and I'll place it in the plastic and put it on the front of the comic book box so that when I, at a quick glance, can tell what's in that box. I love those Prisma colors. This is not yet come out, but again, this is what I've taken from the previews and put it in that plastic. Eventually it will come out. Currently, Captain Marvel is the Dark Tempest series that is ongoing. Red number two. Number three, once it's red, will be graded and placed into the box. There is a Carnage storyline that's going to be coming out again here very soon. Again, I haven't received it. Once I do, it will be placed in the box and I will leave it open for myself to know where the next issue will be placed. Daredevil series, a new black armor, has it come out, but it will be the new 2023 run, number one, also dark. Daredevil and Echo, a series that I believe just wrapped up. Try to be complete with everything. Deadly Neighborhood Spider Man. As I scan through my collection, as you can see, there it is. And the current Deadpool series, my favorite character. Just finished reading number 10. Everything Deadpool ever produced, I have it. And this will be the next series I look forward to reading. At the moment, the Battered Blood series is going. Uh, I think there's a number five for this series. See all the Deadpool stuff. Some other current series, Death of Venomverse. Oh, an alphabetical order. And the wood. Next box. down to the lower layer on the X calendars. Pretty cool ghost slider on the 50. Fantastic four. Currently at number eleven. I love these comic books there. As you can see. Them all here. One of the 25 year anniversary covers. Current Ghost Rider series I'm reading. Galaxy, reading that series. I have a full run of Green Wanderer, 120 issue run. As I buy my comic books brand new every week, my collection is 
Mirror Mint, Mirror Mint Plus. Better. Invincible Iron Man. One of my favorite characters. I've got this entire series. Number one up. I don't have his first appearance. I do have the facsimile. I wish to read it. It's available. As you can see, there's the Joker. I don't have very much DC comics. My collection is a Marvel collection. It keeps me grounded. If I were to buy into DC, as I have with Marvel, my collection could easily balloon to double the size. And I already have 80 long boxes. This is the Marvel Comics Presents. Got the whole run. Again, all in Mirror Mint Plus. Bought them brand new as they came out. Read them all. There's some Women of Marvel 60 year anniversary variances. Some of the stuff from the 70s I have bought from Dollar Bins. This series hasn't come out yet. Looking forward to it. Love my zombies variances, as you can see. I have this knife here. And I have pretty close to all the Marvel zombie variances that came out during the first run of Marvel zombies. These are all. I'm going to play them with Micronauts. Not a lot of doubles in my collection, but there are a few. Moon Knight. In the previous box, this is the first series. And currently, set number three. As well, that's the City of the Dead. The current series is at number 27. Let's try to read that. There's Marvel. First series. Number one. I have one on the wall as well. Again, I've got a few doubles. Miss Marvel. Keep this open where I left off. Sometimes I don't have an ad to put in the front, so I will use a comic book to distinguish what's in the box. At the front, I'll put these preview magazines. That way, prevents me from damaging any comic books. Not the same at the back of every box. I place a bag full of boards to save my comic books from being damaged. This was a cool series, the Fantastic Four. I know it's over, so it is not left open. And that series is complete. The five issue series. And New Mutants. It's an old series. It doesn't fill a whole box. But, as I like to see, we've got the first appearance of Cable. Mirror Mint Plus, possibly a 9 8. 
looks like I'm printing in equal condition. My first appearance of Deadpool. Love these. These are variances. Eh, they're doubles. I have another one in the box. Keep them complete. We got the first series of Nova complete. Twenty-five. Old Man Logan series. Yeah, what a power man. Don't have that series complete, but. Pretty good one. I'm sure series will be starting a new run. You probably all saw that. A 180. First cameo appearance of Hulk. Wolverine, sorry. Current series of Red Goblin. Full run of Rom. She Hulk. Well, uh, full run of Savage She Hulk. Going through 25. Secret Wars, we all want to know if it's there. What's the other one? That would be... More of a secret wars. Let's go there. I stopped. Let's look at that one. I don't know where it is. More of secret wars. There it is. And what everyone wants to see. There it is. In near mint condition. Let's get back to our alphabetical tour. Sensational She Hulk. Got a full run of them. Excluding the final issue, which has virtually the same cover as number one. Let's go looking for one of them. Current issues of the She-Hulk. Current series of Spider-Man that I'm reading. Full of them. Spider-Man. Oh, cool. Variances to the number one. Variances to number two. Went to number 50. We got some Spider-Man. 
Tales of the Teen Titans, Tales of the Green Lantern Corpse. Again, some DC comics that are very rare in my collection. This is number 41, as it was the New Teen Titans to begin with. The New Teen Titans being. Down here. Number one. First insurance. Tearing on. My alphabet tour. Everybody's talking about Thunderbolts. Zero. Don't have number one. But we have pretty near a full run of the Thunderbolts. This one has Deadpool in it. Our elbows are new. All in near mint condition. But there's a real Fantastic Four Ultimate. First appearance of the Marvel Zombies. Ultimate Spider-Man. We don't have Miles Morales' first appearance. As I didn't complete that series. We got a current run of a King Avengers. Again, Deadpool is part of this crew. Favorite character again. He's also a member of the Uncanny X Force. Of the black one, but also a current type of protector series. Pretty much every mini series that's ever been produced is in my collection. Below. Pretty 
Cool, what is it? Cool cover. And with me, I have a full long box. Nice for me. In fact, it's at number 37 currently. Just finished reading. Got it in the hole again. Got my grades. Now it plus. Now I'm going to seriously lean in. Disappointed in the grade when it was damaged in the shipment. A couple of spine damage on that one, but I have a copy. Mm -hmm. That's a current series of X Force. Finished reading number 44. It goes in it every time. There is a variant in any series that Deadpool is in. I like to grab the variant. We got X Men series going right now. Just finished reading this one. And haven't read it yet. The current books I'm still reading. I have to read yet. The marriage of these two in the frost. Tom Stark. So we read that one, it will be graded and placed away. Active in this box, we've got X Men Red, number 15, many, many X Men series have been produced. Again, they're all in alphabetical order according to Overstreet Price Guide. X23, here we go. Finishing off the X Men. Have Pretty much everything X23 has ever had. I'll place a cardboard in front in case I bring the whole series out to read. That way when I'm holding my books, my thumb, my thumb goes on this rather than fingerprinting my comic. There were variances to this series. I didn't get them all. Can't always afford to buy everything. And the Marvel one shot. It's all that. There. X23 currently has the deadly Genesis. Just finished reading. Number five, I believe that series has come to an end. See, I can pick this up. My thumb isn't on the clasp because I use my lights. The fingerprints show up quite readily. You can see in the background here. I have some CGC books. I wanted to be accurate with my grading. I tried to grab one in every grade to compare my books to. So 
that I can be accurate with my grading. It's pretty easy to grade books when they're brand new, but there's such slight imperfections that in order to be as accurate as possible, I will compare them to these. They're not always accurate, as I feel I've seen this book prior to being graded. Felt it was slightly undergraded. It's a very nice copy of 180. 5.5 is a little bit light, I felt, on this book. Cleaned and pressed, probably could come back a 6.5, but even a 5.5, a very valuable book. Anyone would be happy to have that in their collection. As I said, I would have complete runs once they completed. I'll place them over here for the full run of Wolverine. Boxes are pretty full. They keep them pressed. And the boxes are this full. But it is risky when bringing your books in and out. Not that brand new. Again, my collection is pretty near, near mint. If I ever get a rough copy of anything, I want it replaced with a better one. But that's what I have done with my collection. I sit here, I read them here, and then Bible. In here I have every single book that is in my collection. It's in here. In alphabetical order. Daredevil, as you can see, is not complete. Getting pretty tough to get the earlier issues. to it. Every book that is in my boxes is in this bottle. So that's it. We've had a quick look at what I have. You can see it's a Marvel collection. I do have the Walking Dead series. I'm currently getting the Walking Dead Deluxe series. Just finished reading. Number 71. Read it all before. But it's interesting to reread it one book at a time. This series is all in color. I think it's a nice set of books.